So here's the version 3 of the video review page. Um, I've made quite a few changes. I will start with the simpler ones. Um, I've made some changes to the top of the page. I've added the name of the conference and the year and I've promoted the title of the video to become the main heading in the page and then you have the talk information. Um, I've added some instructions um, on what to do when you review a video because I realized that we weren't saying anything to anybody um, and then um, the main change is the sound section. So um, as we discussed, I've added um, the preview uh, for each audio channel, so you can listen to the sound quality that each of them is going to give you and select the best one. Um, the audio player, I've picked a very simple one that I've found on the internet. Um, it has a play pause button, um, the length of the sample and how much time you've played, um, and uh, the ability to scrub, so I can move easily through the sound sample and then a uh, uh, volume control. Um, and I think that's enough. We don't need, there are loads of uh, audio players on the internet that have loads of very sophisticated features, but I don't think we need any of that. What I've also added is an option for when there is no audio in any channel. And um, basically here we ask you, okay, do we publish the video anyway or not? Um, um, and that's the sound section. The, um, the next thing I've added are thank you pages. So if you review the video and it is ready to be um, to be released, um, you get this thank you page that says, well, thank you. Um, the video, you've told us the video is okay, so we're going to process it to be released and we'll send you an email when it's um, ready. Um, if you submit some problems with the start time, the end time or the sound, you get this other version that says, um, Thank you. Um, you told us the video has some problems. The, here's a summary of the stuff you have uh, told us. And then we'll send you an email when um, the video is ready to be reviewed again. Um, now we're going to have to create a separate one for when this option that there is no sound in any channel will be is selected um, because that what doesn't apply. Um, and finally, if you select that the video has other brokenness, there is a third thank you page that says um, you've told us the video is broken in a somehow unusual way. This is what you wrote in the text area and someone from the video team will be in touch. Um, the final thing I've added is the video stages. So basically reduced all the possible stages to four. Generating video, which covers all the stages up to the point where the video is ready for review. And then the review stage and then that process, a processing one uh, and then a published one. So if you land in the video page when we are generating the video, it looks like this. Um, it's just said, okay, we're preparing the video, we'll let you know when it's ready. Um, the review page we just checked. If you submit, um, um, if you say that when you submit the review that the video has a problem, we'll return to this stage. If you say that the video is okay, then you, we move to this processing stage and it says that we are getting the video ready to be published. Um, and finally, when it's published, you see this. And um, I've added a URL to the page where the video is actually published. Um, and that, um, I think, covers all the changes.